Hello friends, it's Sarah from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, you're probably going, what in the actual fuck is that mess? <laughs> um, today is Monday, so you know what that means to my regular waxies. It's most requested Monday. <clears throat> One of my beloved subscribers, Laura Richardson, asked me to tell me what, or blah, 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 blah. Do a video about my favorite super tart scents, that way she could place an order. Um, Laura, <laughs> I love all of these. How do you want me to pick? This is so hard for me. Um, I guess this would also serve as an updated collection video. I am not going to go through them all. <laughs> it's just way too much. I also have... Uh, two more orders in transit. One is a huge clamshell order as well as the second half of the Fright Night band bag pre-order, which I went mental on. So, Laura, this is how much I love you that I spent the morning making this mess. But I also thank you because I was going through the pegboards or through the back of the collection and realizing, I'm like, oh, I have this and I haven't even melted it. So there's a lot of clams you'll see here that I, I have no business telling you whether they're good or bad because I haven't even tried them yet. Um, this is just my Super Tarts collection and I also now have a never-ending Bathing Gardens Addiction collection as well as Rose Girls. So I would say um, right now those are my top three vendors and honorable mention would be Barrett's Wax Crafts. But I haven't placed an order with him in a hot minute, and I keep saying that I'm going to, but every time Super Tarts Friday update on Facebook sucks me in without fail. So I need to show my man Josh Barrett some more love and simmer down on the Super Tarts. I've also started to haul from some new-to-me vendors, but by no means new vendors. Stay tuned for that. I've got a front porch haul, my very first front porch haul coming up. Um... But yeah, Laura, <laughs> I really, really, really don't know how to pick. So I'm, I'm just going to go through, I've kind of set them into collections, and hopefully I can tell you which one is my favorite out of certain collections. Um, out of the Harry Potter collection, the ones that I have tried, I would have to say that Harry is my one of my favorites. It's magically delicious in French baguette. It makes a phenomenal blending scent as well as love it all on its own. Honorable mention would be Dobby if you like super clean scents. I also love Dumbledore, but I'm addicted to apples. Out of the Hunger Games collection, I want to focus on building the entire set. This is a beautiful set. I would have to say out of the ones I've tried so far, Rue is by far my favorite. Actually, I had that going um, while we were sleeping last night. I've taken it out of the warmers and my room still smells like rue, like it lingers. It's a light scent, but it's amazing. I highly recommend everybody try that one if you haven't already. Out of the Doctor Who collection, I haven't melted Doctor Who, but I do like Tardis, which is blue sugar cream, tea and cakes. Pond is another good one if you want like blow you out of your house strong clean scent because it's jaws and clean laundry out of this I, I haven't really tried a lot out of this what is it the flashback collection um so i'm not even going to speak to that these are just ones that i have one of i do like percy which is rain and lemon curd because i have a thing for lemons lemon scents um out of the American Horror Story collection, I think Tate is definitely a must-have. But most people say you can't have Tate without Violet, so you could pick that one up too. Honorable mention would be Briar Cliff because it's a super clean scent. I believe it's, uh, yeah, Mac Apple, Shaving Cream, and Sea Salt. I'm running low on that one. I need to get more. That one is beautiful. Out of the Melting Dead collection, the only one I've melted so far is Negan. I bought it in a band bag, and I can really take it or leave it. What the heck are you doing? Excuse me. No. Toddler. Bye. Yeah, that is going to bite you. Okay, no thank you. Yeah. Are you watching Tubbies? Yeah. yeah. I don't know where you got that, but please don't. 
Um, I don't know why I purchased a BAM of Negan. I could really take it or leave it, but that's the only one I've tried. So, um, oh, what was I thinking? Okay, Laura, trust me, Glenn and Meg's Love Spilt Basil and Baby Powder. I haven't melted out of this one yet, but I was sent a sample of it from my girl, Amber. I know Love Spill and Basil sounds disgusting, but Laura, you have to try that because I know you would appreciate that scent. Out of the, well, where are we? Super Universe Collection, Harley Quinn is awesome. Sandman is awesome. Um, Sandman is an omen blend. It's sandalwood with the omen. I love it. I also love Dr. Doom. Laura, I think you would really like Dr. Doom. Very earthy, Madagascar vanilla and patchouli. You would love that. Uh, the Fright Night Collection, I can't even speak to that. Order it all because they are literally all my favorite. I have yet to find one that I don't absolutely love. So I was super pumped when she poured Fright Night in the band bags. But my fall must-haves out of that collection are Mr. Myers, Hills Have Eyes, and Alien. Must-haves for fall. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, no, it's a tennis racket, baby. She's playing Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> She's asking me if a tennis ball is food. No, it's a game. You, It's a tennis racket. He swings it and hits the ball. That's a ball. Oh. Yeah, put it on your potato head. Um, where were we here? So, yeah, I love the um, Fright Night, all of it. The Fright Night collection is beautiful. Laura, a scent recommendation for you especially would be Mr. Myers. I think you would really appreciate the earthiness, the leaves in that one, but it's very creamy. It's beautiful. It also throws for days and lingers, much like Rue. Um, what else do we have? We have the Classics Collection. I love the Classics Collection. I really don't think you can go wrong with that set. But my favorite out of that set in particular is Lucky Lemons um, and Fake and Bake. Love both of those scents. Mary Jane Watson is probably my favorite uh, pink sugar melt of all time because it's pink sugar and love spell. This is beautiful. Out of the Lord of the Melts collection, I love all like the four that I have, I love and I would buy them in bulk. Middle Earth, Laura, I think that is a must have for you. Trust me on the rosemary and dirt, you will love it because I know you love earthy. Gollum's really nice, it's just the omen mixed with blackberry. Um, I think. I don't even know how to say this. Galadriel is probably one of the most underrated scents. That's Himalayan sea salt, wood cane sugar, sage, and Sorrento lemons. This one is beautiful. Beautiful. So unique. Gandalf is a super powerful coffee scent. Probably my favorite out of the coffee blends I have tried so far. But I... I also have to say I haven't tried them all, but Gandalf is a super strong coffee scent. And I'm finding in that bin over there, those are my potion packs and my samples and everything, just, just a mix of stuff, not very pretty. But I'm finding I prefer ordering Starbucks coffee in the potion packs and just blending myself. That's what I'm doing nine out of 10 times. I'm almost out of that potion pack, so next time I order, all right, next time it's available, I will order two or three of those because I didn't realize I would love it so much. The Once Upon a Time collection, um, Sleepy Beauty is gorgeous if you like Rose Jam. Uh, just the Once Upon a Time is beautiful if you like Serendipity. I have multiples of Belle because that's um, Beauty and the Beast plus tea and cakes. So love that. This is the... What is that? Not rom-com. Primetime collection. Out of the primetime collection, my favorites would probably be Beauty and the Beast, as well as um, Goldberg's is new to me, and I'm loving it, but I would say it's um, definitely a fall-winter bakery because it's got those oatmeal scotchies. It's so delicious, though. And, Laura, I know you like Scandal, so... That's always a good one to have in your collection. That Chanel number five is fierce. 
Out of the Tot collection, my favorite is Casper. I have it in a super pan as well as multiple plans here. Um, yeah, SPK is really nice too if you like cupcake scents. But I prefer um, just using that um, Casper all on its own or as a blending scent. It's amazing. We're putting a duck inside the Mr. Potato Head. Why do you want to hide the duck in his bunk? Oh. Hobbies. Everyone's got one. Um, Mr. Potato has smuggled what? ducks in his ass. Hey, I don't even know how to get this together. Ah, there you go. Super mom. So, yeah, that's it. Casper is definitely my recommendation out of that collection, but again, I haven't tried them all. Um... This is my Once Upon a uh, Once Upon a Time Oz collection. I love this. I swear you can't go wrong with any of these scents, except for Yellow Brick Road was super disappointing. Love the Good Witch. Tin Man is awesome. I could Tin Man and It Wasn't Just a Dream are so similar. I could take or leave either one of them. Scarecrow. Uh, Laura, order Scarecrow. You would like that one. It is. Patchouli, Sugar Dusted, Wild Berry Mousse, and Sweet Rain. Super unique. I know you'd love that. Toto is also really nice. I believe it's the almond mixed with shaving cream. If you're looking for a staple bakery, I always recommend to anyone who is new to Super Tarts or who is a little intimidated by some of Brandy's like crazy out there blends, There's No Place Like Home is a great place to start. It's blackberry vanilla bean or vanilla buttercream Twinkies and butter cookies. Just like, oh, so delicious. So delicious. Nothing crazy wild out there. The Twilight's collection has become one of my favorites as well. Rosalie is a bestseller on the Super Tarts website. <clears throat> I ordered three of them just because it was restocked and I had heard all this buzz about it, but I really didn't anticipate loving it as much as I do. Um, the Rosalie is just twisted peppermint and coconut cream pie. Oh, so creamy, so delicious. Love that all day, but especially at bedtime. Um, Edward's Promise is new to me. That is actually what I have currently melting in this room, and it is gorgeous. This is pink chiffon, gardenia, pink sugar, and vanilla bean noel. The creamiest, most beautiful, delicate floral scent ever. Um, where are we here? I'm not going to go through like these little ones that I only have one of because nine out of ten of them I haven't melted out of the, what is this, Alice in Wonderland collection. I can't really speak to this because I've only melted a few, but my favorite is No Ordinary Girl, which is coconut cream, vanilla oak, tangerine, and daisies. Laura, I think you would love that one. Out of the... Guardian of the Gal Waxy, or however it said, um, Nova Prime is another one much like No Place Like Home. If you're new to Super Tarts and you just want to start getting your feet wet before you just dive right into the crazy blends, Nova Prime is definitely, definitely where you should go. It is, I've got multiples of them here, two plans and a big bam. Uh, bakery Shop Sweet Lemon Meringue and Blackberry Cream. It is gorgeous. Sashaisms is actually who turned me on to this one, and man, oh man, if you're not watching her channel, you should, because she'll never steer you wrong. She has great recommendations. Um, the collector is also nice if you're into blue sugar, because it's just blue sugar and peppermint. Um, I love Corpsman. I have multiple plans of this lined up for the fall. This is graham crackers, pie crust, and creamy zucchini bread on cold. This smells like disgusting. It smells like stale crackers and bad Chinese food. I just, I couldn't stand it, but once I warmed it, I fell in love. I'm, it's not even fall yet, and I've almost killed a clam. I have another clam and a bam. Love this side. Ego is beautiful, too. It's French baguette and mac apple. Like, there's just too many amazing ones to pick. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the, um, shoot, full house. <laughs> Here I'm saying. I don't know about this set. I don't really like this set. And I've got one, two, three, four, five band bags back here. Um, none of which are really a favorite to me. Mama's House is nice if you like. Uh, it's Gain and Blackberry. 
Full House is a great cookie scent. Family Matters with a coffee blend, but I've got two of them here, but it's got um, zucchini in it, so I'm saving it for fall. But out of that set, nothing ever, like, um, nothing that I've tried out of the flashback collection screams to me, like, must have. You know, um, I'll like to de stash some of those because I just, I don't need them all. Uh, where were we? This is my beloved Jaws collection. I clearly love the Jaws. I should start um, hauling more Omen collection because I love them equally. I guess there's sporadically around here. But anyways, um, anything with Jaws in it is a winner in my book. But again, it's a very polarized scent. So I would just suggest ordering one plan with Jaws. Make sure you like Jaws first before you start getting into the blends. Uh, Game of Tarts, Mother of Dragons will chase you out of your house. It's not my favorite at all because it's Satsuma and Sweet Pineapple. But man oh man, this is probably one of the strongest wax melts I have ever tried. Like make your eyes bleed strong. It's crazy. Snot Me Not is my favorite out of the Snot collection. This is Eucalyptus, Herbal Lavender and White Walkers. So peppermint. Oh, we forgot the um, the Sookie over there. There's Sookie, Logan, and Jess. What is that collection called? Brain fart, but whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Sookie is probably my favorite out of that collection. It's gingerbread, buttery cake bites, applesauce, and buttercream. But again, saving that for fall. Loves it. Uh, what else do we have? Did that, did that. Out of the um, Chris Meltz collection. Hi, Mom. Hi, babe. Miracle on 34th Hello. Street. You should absolutely Hello. order this. It is to die for. It's fresh fallen leaves, creamy pumpkin pie topped with toasted marshmallow. Laura, I think you would really appreciate um, that blend because it's, it's earthy, it's bakery, it's creamy. I have worn that year round just because it's so comforting. Um, Bishop's Wife is another one I eat yeah, warm year-round. It is Twisted Peppermint, Driftwood, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Uh, P.F. Chang's is, is good, too, if you like, um, if you're looking for, like, a super bready bakery scent. But I have um, Frosty, which I haven't warmed yet. Also, White Christmas is another one I warm year-round. It's Peppermint, Frosty, Cranberry, Serendipity, and Vanilla Bean Gelato. And I know I've said this on my channel before, but um, I warm it year-round because it reminds me of, like, this really bougie um, tanning bed oil that I used to use. It smells amazing. Amazing. So, out of the America melts, I haven't melted any yet, so I don't want to comment on those. But that's it, my love. This is how much I love you. I make this giant mess on my bed for you. And I do so with confidence because I know this wax doesn't leak, nor will it ruin my stuff. That's it for Most Requested Monday. If you have a request for next week, comment in the link down below. Do you want me to make a giant mess and tell you what my favorite wax melts are? Do you have any questions? Do you have any content ideas? Put it in the box below. I look forward to bringing you guys another Most Requested Monday. As always, subscriber's choice. Thanks so much for watching.